The missions of California, founded along the coast from San Diego to Sonoma, are a cultural treasure. Each mission is an open door to our state's history. Their location often develop into the state's most important cities. The missions are one of the most popular tourist destinations in the state, attracting millions of visitors each year. Mission San Juan Capistrano, with its picturesque ruins, distinctive bell wall, and beautiful landscape grounds, is one of the most popular missions. Known as the Jewel of California Missions, it is a unique destination with historical structures and gardens. It is one of the most picturesque sites in California. The mission was founded in 1776 by Spanish Franciscans in what was then known as Alta California. Today, the mission compound serves as a museum with well laid out educational displays, including a large diorama and restored Padres room. More than 500,000 visitors come to the Mission San Juan Capistrano each year. In 1778, the first adobe chapel was blessed. It was replaced by a larger 115-foot-long chapel, which is regarded as the oldest continuously used building in California. The oldest known chapel, known as Sarah's Chapel, was built in 1782, has the distinction of being where Father Junipero Serra celebrated Mass in person. It is known as the only remaining church where Sarah is known to officiate. The chapel's beautiful altar, made of cherry wood and covered in gold leaf, is from Barcelona, Spain. A side chapel is dedicated to St. Peregrine, patron saint of cancer sufferers. Today, Sarah's chapel now serves as a chapel for the mission parish. The chapel, living quarters, kitchens, workshop, storerooms, soldiers' barracks, and a number of other buildings make up the center of the complex. The first vineyards in California were located on mission grounds. The mission grape was first planted in San Juan Capistrano in 1779, and in 1783, both red and white wines and brandy produced in Alta California was from the mission's winery. The mission prospered with more than 70 buildings being built to provide for staff and housing of mission Indians. With a growing population, the mission sent out to build a European-style cathedral-sized church. Rather than mud bricks, the construction would be modeled on a Byzantine cathedral using stone and incorporating a domed roof structure. Construction began in 1797. Sandstone was quarried and transported to the site by oxen cart. The building took the effort of the entire mission's population. The church was finally completed in 1806 and blessed on September 7th with a two-day fiesta. On the morning of December 8, 1812, a series of earthquakes shook the area during Sunday service. A 7.5 earthquake slammed the mission, shaking the building until the bell tower and the nave collapsed. Under the rubble, more than 40 native worshippers lost their lives. The mission's kitchens and bakeries prepared and served meals for hundreds each day. Candles, Soap, grease, and ointment were all made from tallow, rendered animal fat in large vats located just outside the West Wing. The vats were also used for dyeing wool and tanning leather. With Mexico's independence from Spain in 1821, the missions increasingly faced challenges. Disease, floods, and droughts took their toll as well. The mission's disillusioned Indians began to fade away. Without maintenance, the missions began to deteriorate. In 1862, 
a smallpox epidemic swept through the area and nearly wiped out the remaining Mission Indians still in residence. The missions entered a long period of decline after the Mexican government secularized the missions in 1833. It wasn't until the 20th century until restoration efforts to the grounds brought the missions up to their former state. The bell wall containing four original bells from the Great Stone Church has become an icon of the mission era. Audio tours can enhance your visit by guiding you through the fascinating history of the mission. A sense of appreciation for the history and the beauty of the architecture of the mission's grounds greets you as you walk among the ruins. San Juan Capistrano is definitely a destination worth the effort.